you can draw this in Procreate. During this tutorial, we are going to create a quick and easy landscape. If you are a frequent watcher, then the approach will feel familiar and you might even be able to guess the steps. If you're not a frequent watcher, then make sure to check out my other tutorials as well. And if you want to learn even more, if you want to master Procreate, then be sure to check out my Patreon page. I have recently launched this landscape painting tutorial, for instance. This tutorial comes with a special brush pack, color palettes, and of course, I will guide you through every single step, just like I do here on YouTube. And you won't just find this tutorial at Patreon, but over a hundred more. But for now, let's get started with this tutorial. First of all, the canvas is 2300 pixels by 3000 pixels. And I have a color palette for you, which I have linked in the description. We'll also be using a brush from my treasure chest brush pack, which is totally free. If you haven't got it already, then go to freefromflow.com. But enough chit chat, let's go and grab a brush. The first brush we'll be using is the monoline brush, which you can find under calligraphy. And for the color, we are going to use this first color in the first row of the color palette. Now the first thing we'll do is draw a circle. The opacity of the brush is at 100% and the size is at 5%. And let's zoom out on our canvas a little bit. Now draw a circle, which is super easy. Just draw a circle, hold your pen in place, and then tap one finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfectly round circle and drag in a color to fill your shape. And now let's make sure that our circle is in the center of our canvas. Tap the little arrow over here, then go to snapping and make sure that snapping is turned on. Now drag your circle around until you see this orange line. And then let's duplicate this circle by going to the layer menu, dragging to the left on the layer and tapping duplicate. Now go to the arrow tool again, then go to snapping and turn on magnetics. Then you can zoom out a little bit first and then let's drag the circle down while it's magnetically attached to the top circle. So we are staying in the center and then tap the arrow again to get out of that menu. Now we are going to create a new layer by going to the layer menu and tapping the plus. And now we'll go to the selection tool. That's the S shape ribbon and set it to rectangle and turn on color fill. You'll know that it's turned on if it's blue. And I'll just make a rectangular shape like this. Then turn off the selection by tapping the S shape ribbon and then go to the arrow tool again. Now let's turn off magnetics over here. And now we are going to drag these handles to make them align with the circles. So drag it until you see that blue vertical line on this side as well. And then use these top handles to find the center of that circle. You'll see a horizontal blue line. Then over here like this, then tap the arrow to get out of the menu. You'll have to check if that edge is correct, sometimes it's a little bit off and you'll have to go back to the move tool again to nudge it a little bit, but it's looking fine right now. So now we can merge the layers, go to the layer menu and pinch these layers together. So we have one shape. Now to make sure that it's centered on your canvas, you can go to the move tool again. And while it's set to snapping, you can find the center by looking for that vertical and horizontal orange lines and then tap the arrow again. Now we are going to add our shapes to our scene. Let's go and make a new layer on top by tapping the plus. And now we are going to set this layer to clipping mask. Tap the layer, then tap clipping mask. And if you are a frequent watcher, then of course you know that now whatever we paint here, it'll only show up on that shape. And for the brush, we'll still be using the monoline brush. And for the color, we are going to grab the second color in the second row. And we are going to start a little bit above halfway of our shape. And we are going to make a wobbly line from left to right, creating these hills on our horizon. So just random wobbles like this. And then I want to make a horizontal line 
from left to right and make sure that you close the shape so you can't really see it because it's clipped to the shape but you need to close the shape when you see your layer over here you'll see that shape or if you uh, unclip it you'll also see it and you can check if your shape is closed now let's clip it again and let's drag in the color to fill our shape now we are going to make a new layer tap the plus again and make sure that you set this to clipping mask as well and for the color we are going to grab this first color in the second row and we are going to make another hilly shape we'll start here wobble our way up and we'll go to the right go down here to about here and then we'll make a horizontal line again it can be nice to rotate your canvas a bit so it's easier to make a line like this something like this then drag in a color now you might need to adjust these edges a little bit it looks a bit wonky right now you can just tap and hold the eraser to make it switch to the monoline brush as well and then you can just erase a little part so it's not looking like it's it's floating up over here as well just erase a little part on the underside if it's needed and now let's make another hilly shape let's make a new layer again by going to the layer menu tapping the plus and again let's set it to clipping mask we'll still be using this dark blue color first make sure that you select the brush and then let's go over here and make another wobbly shape to about here let's rotate our canvas and make a horizontal line and of course make sure to close it before you drag in the color to fill it now let's start and add some texture to our shape we're going to layer one tap it and then select alpha lock so now whatever we paint it'll only show up on a shape and for the brush we are going to the treasure chest brush pack and we are going to select where is it the spackle brush as you can see there are loads of free brushes in this pack so if you haven't got it yet then go to freefromflow.com to get it for free and you won't just get these brushes but also my ebook about color theory now let's grab a color we're going to start with this second color in the first row this nice pink the opacity of the brush is at 65 percent and let's set the size at 100 percent now let's go over the top area and we'll need loads of brush strokes we are going to build this up slowly adding a nice texture to our piece so gently go over it adding this pink color to the sky let's do the same here at the bottom Add some pink there as well because the sky is reflected in the water a little bit. So just some pink over here and then let's switch to this color over here, the fourth color in the first row. And let's go over the top. Let me move the canvas a little bit. So go over the top area to make a nice spackled gradient here from orange to pink to blue now let's switch to an even brighter orange the fifth color in the first row and go over the top just a little bit until you have something that looks similar to this now let's go ahead and add a sun to our piece let's make a new layer on top of layer one just tap the plus and as you can see it's automatically clipped to our shape now let's go back to the monoline brush you can easily do that by just going to recent here at the top of your brush packs and you'll find the monoline brush since we just used it now for the color we will use this third color in the first row and i will just draw a circle 
Hold your pen in place to snap to the quick shape and then tap one finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfectly round circle. Then drag in a color to fill your shape. And of course you can go to the move tool, set it to uniform, make your sun bigger or smaller, move it around until it's perfectly placed. Of course we don't want this, this lower area here. So let's go to the selection tool, the S shape ribbon. Set it to rectangle, but make sure that you turn off color fill. Then select that lower area. And now you can either swipe with three fingers to clear it or just go to the layer, tap it, and then use clear. And now that part that you selected is cleared. Now let's continue adding some texture. We we'll want to make sure that we turn on alpha lock on the layers though. You can either do it by tapping the layer and selecting alpha lock or slide with two fingers on these layers. Let's start with the sun. Let's go back to the spackle brush. You'll find it under recent since we recently used it. And for the color, let's grab the pink over here. The second color in the first row. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's set it to 45%. And let's go over the top area, adding some texture here and making it look more pinkish. And we can also add a little bit of this color, that fourth color in the first row and go over that lower area. Now let's switch to the little mountains. Let's go to layer two first and grab this blue color over here, that third color in the second row. And let's gently go over the top of these mountains. And let's switch to the darker blue, the first color in the second row. And let's go over the lower area for just a little bit of a gradient on these hills. And let's move to layer three and grab the lighter blue, the second color in the second row. And again, let's go over the top area for just some slight texture. And let's do the same for layer four. Go over the top area. Next, we'll create a reflection for our mountains and our sun by duplicating the layers. Just slide to the left and tap duplicate for each of these layers. Then let's select the duplicates by tapping them and then sliding to the right. And let's drag them underneath the other layers right in between here. Now let's flip them one by one. Let's first start with this one over here. Go to the move tool and then tap flip vertical. Then drag it down and make it touch. Then let's go to layer three. Again, go to the move tool, tap flip vertical and drag the layer down until it touches the underside. If you have a little bit of a gap, you can go to distort here at the bottom and just distort the layer a little bit until it touches. Then let's go to the next layer, a layer two, then go to the move tool, tap flip vertical and drag it down as well. Then finally our sun, tap the layer, tap the arrow tool and then go for flip vertical and drag it down. Now, as you can see on this layer, that dark blue mountain or hill, you can see a little part sticking out there at the top. Let's just go to the layer, layer three over here and you can select the eraser and erase that little part. Now let's lower the opacity of these layers. Let's start with layer four, tap the N and use the slider to lower the opacity. Let's go for 45%. Now for the other layers, we'll first need to merge these. So pinch them together, these three, then tap the N and lower the opacity over here as well. And let's go for 50% here. Next, we are going to make some reflection on the water. Let's first tap layer one, then tap the plus for a new layer. And let's just use the monoline brush 
and for the color let's use this third color in the first row we'll start here at the bottom and make a wobbly shape going up here then let's go back and make a wobbly shape like this make sure you close the shape and then drag in the color and then let's make another shape over here make it nice and random then go back close the shape drag in the color and finally let's make one over here drag in the color and then let's add some other shapes some flat shapes You can fill them in by hand. This will be, and this is going to give the effect of water. The way we are going to do this is on a different layer. Actually, we are going to make a selection of this layer of the shapes that we have just created. So tap the layer, use select. And then let's make a new layer on top of these reflection layers. So first tap layer four, then tap the plus. You can turn off the layer that we have just created with these pink shapes. Just make sure that the selection is still active. And then for the brush, let's go back to the spackle brush. And for the color, let's grab this one over here, the third color in the second row. And then let's go over this lower area and add the spackle texture to these shapes. Then we'll switch to this color, the fourth color in the first row. And we'll add these warmer colors here at the top. Just make multiple strokes, slowly filling these shapes with these spackles. also add some pink we can grab that second color in the first row add some pink colors on this side make a nice looking gradient here we can add some extra blue so grab that third color in the second row again some more for some more blue colors here until you have something that looks like this and then you can turn off the selection by tapping the S shape ribbon. Now finally, let's draw some clouds. Let's do that on top of the other layers. Let's go to layer four, tap the plus, then tap the layer and set it to clipping mask again. And for the brush, let's grab the monoline brush again. And for the color, we'll use this third color in the first row. And now let's make some random cloud shapes moving towards that sun make sure to close the shape before you drag in the color let's make another shape over here close the shape drag in the color and then finally one over here drag in the color then let's add some spackles to these clouds as well. First, make sure to turn on alpha lock on the layer and then go back to the spackle brush. And let's add some of this orange, that fifth color in the first row. Let's just go over the top area and add some color variation and some spackles here. Now we'll lower the opacity of this layer by tapping the end and turning it down to 60%. And there you have your lovely sunset piece. I hope you have enjoyed following this tutorial. Let me know if you did. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. And of course, come and share your work in the Flow Create community. You can join through the newsletter or by going to freefromflow.com. And I will see you next time for the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.